got one take, mate. <laughs> and you're in my area. This is TV, so you better get it right. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Uh, okay, hi guys. Welcome to Active Ed Live. Thanks for tuning in. All right, today we're out at uh, Orange, Origin Youth Health, the, um, the charity organization we're sponsoring with the big 100 man kumite. And today we've got a AFL legend Wayne Schwoss with us to tell us a little bit about the facility and um, how he's been involved with it and all that kind of thing. Well, thank you, but I've never been called a legend, so I'm starting to <laughs> like you already. Uh, my involvement has basically stemmed from, I guess, being um, an AFL footballer for a period of time. I uh, had a personal experience with mental illness and that being depression, so um, through my football career I dealt with that in ways that perhaps I could have dealt with it differently, and I guess at the end of it I managed to have a reasonably successful AFL career, but more importantly, yeah. overcome the challenges that I faced. And, and from that, own, my own personal experience, I wanted to uh, do something that allowed me to leverage off my footballing career and create something that helped educate young people about the issues of mental illness. And so, um, what what sort of things do Origin Youth Health do? Like, what's the I guess the main goals and everything of the organisation? Just for... well, look, I'm a bit biased when I say this, but I think that the organisation is at the cutting edge with regards to, um, I guess, setting the social agenda, but all, also uh, complementing that with a number of outstanding programs, early intervention. Um, you know, we're dealing with some, um, an important demographic within the community, and yeah. you know, mental illness is still not something that should be, t that isn't talked about in the same way as we talk about breast cancer and lung cancer and diabetes, and, all these other legitimate ailments. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think that they're doing a really good job putting this issue on the agenda, and equally, they complement that by the wonderful work that they do mm -hmm. with a lot of young people. Okay, yeah. So, what what sort of programs are there in place to kind of help help young people with mental illness? Well, there's a range of different programs. I think that the area that I'm involved in is the education side of it, um, yep. and that is, you know, we go into schools and we educate kids about depression and what are the signs and the symptoms and how do they go about recognising that and importantly what can they do to deal with those situations or equally importantly how do they support somebody who might be dealing with it. You know this affects an enormous amount of people and when we're probably walking by people every day whether we know them or not and they're dealing with this type of thing yet because of the stigma attached to mental illness they don't feel, I'll put myself in this basket, they don't feel as though they can go and openly discuss what it is that is concerning them or causing them stress because of the stigma that's attached to it. Yet if you fell over today with a heart attack, I'd immediately know that I had to clear your airway, make sure that you're still breathing, and I'd ring an ambulance. Yeah. And we yep. would support people without any hesitation. We don't judge diabetics or asthmatics any differently, yet unfortunately we judge people that have mental illnesses differently. Now I think that's unfair and it's very outdated and we need to change it. Yeah, for sure. Now, the, the man that leads this magnificently energised and passionate ship is Professor Pat McGorry, who happens to be a great North Melbourne person, might I add. So a very, very intelligent man. But, but uh, you know, they, they, they're really pushing the boundaries. And, um, you know, I think without an organisation like Origin, from a community perspective, perhaps the traction that we are getting now wouldn't be starting to gain the momentum without the passion that Pat really, I guess, displays on a daily basis. And that's picked up by everybody who works here. You don't work in mental health unless you're not passionate about the issue. Yeah, for sure. And I've just I just heard recently earlier today that um, Melbourne's the only facility at the moment, but they're planning on opening up more Origin Youth Health places around the country as well. To oh, I, the, look, absolutely. And if yeah. uh, the current Prime Minister, and, uh, good afternoon to uh, Miss Gillard, uh, currently happens to see this, or the Leader of the Opposition, Tony Abbott, <laughs> Uh, that would be a fantastic initiative if we could just open the purse strings a touch more and just make sure that, um, you know, there are more Origins out there. Uh, because as, as, as great the work that they currently do, there's a, a lot of people that aren't getting this, these opportunities. Yeah, definitely. I think that that's what we need to make sure that, you know, we're bridging that gap constantly. Um, I'm encouraged with, um, you know, the budget that's coming out with some of the figures that are being talked about. but. Mm -hmm. To me, that's a drop in the ocean. I know that this is bigger picture stuff, but this is such a serious cause. And you know, mental illness is not something that sits out the gen outside of the general health system. You know, we need to put this in the same basket and approach it in the same way. And every cent is important. And I, I know that firsthand with what we've managed to do with our school-based programs. Every cent actually goes to something. It, it, yep. it doesn't get put into a large pool of funds. We don't have a large pool of funds because every single cent of our money is allocated to a particular program. So. You know, we, we don't walk around with um, inflated bank balances going, what are we going to spend this money on? We're, we're, we're 
squeezing the rag to get every available value out of what we have. And I think that this organisation and all the other organisations that work in this field do an outstanding job at maximising the available funds in order to provide the biggest benefit we can. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so that's message to you guys. <laughs> Donate now. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig yep. deeper. We're going to be fighting 100 rounds for this, for Origin Youth Health. It's a great cause. So um, please uh, put, put, um, show us your support and uh, make a donation, you know? And if I can, if you don't dig deeper, you'll be in with this man the next time he fights 200 people. So dig deep. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for your time, Wayne. My it was uh, really great that you came out and uh, told everyone about Origin Youth Health. Hopefully you guys get on board and support the event, you know? Wayne's told you to. I've told you to. Let's make it happen. And good luck to the hundred people fighting this man. <laughs> cool. Cheers. No worries, mate. That's Thank great. you. <laughs>